Oh. Wake up. We've got radio. George just said, well, I have set fire to one of these cars before, and I just feel like we need to have a second to just go, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Sentimental Car Club. Today, we have a mechanic coming to try and get this sump plug off. But I want to give it one more go because I feel like it's sod's law that if you have someone coming to fix it, the problem is going to be solved and I have another new tool. So just one, one really quick go before he arrives. We went to the NEC the other day to a classic car restoration show. And we bought these, so the man with, who was selling it was very good at selling it, so I thought it might work. They're, they're pretty similar to the Stilson that I used, but just a little, a little more solid. I'll give it a go. I haven't bought the oil pan under this time, which might have also been a sod's law thing. Lighty tighty lefty loosey. Yeah. <laughs> this is worse than the Stilson. <laughs> wow, okay. I'd be really disappointed if I bought this and thought that that was definitely going to fix it. Because that is definitely not it. No, I'm just shutting it up. Okay, I tried it. We need the man. Cut to the man. Okay. So the man has come along and within like a minute loosened it. And now I theoretically can do the rest, but we shall see. Oh, it is turning. Yes. Oh, I can see oil. Yay. Oh, oil. Well done. Oh, I can smell it now as well. Yeah, it is thick. We have a nice pan of thick old oil and a sump plug. It's finally out, mangled up, mangled it off in about 0 0.7 seconds and it's taken us about seven days of churning it. So that says everything about us. But we have a new one, um, which looks a bit different from the old one. So George, I don't know where you got this new one from, but like most things, it looks slightly different and it looks... It looks thinner than this one, so I'm just going to give it a quick test and see if it fits in that hole. Otherwise, we've got another situation where we've got the wrong part. I think this is one of the biggest problems that I've, I'm finding so far is like tracking down the right parts. Because you can obviously put in your registration into places like, yeah, that doesn't fit, places like Halfords. 
and it will say, right. you know, with Skippy, for instance, you put Skippy's reg into Halfords, and it will say, these are the brakes you need, this is the suspension you need, this is the, you know, the oil you need, whatever it is, it will tell you because it has all the details. With a car this old, a lot of the time it doesn't have the car details, and if it does, it will tell you something will fit, and you buy that thing and it doesn't fit. So it's, yeah, a lot more tricky than it should be. It just, it's too small. Well, now we have the old one out, that's fine. I feel like we just need, now we know the measurements. We just didn't know the measurements before. So we can find a better one. Um, and also, having spoken to my father, he says that we should put flushing oil through the system because it's been so long and that helps just clear everything through. And if you put like new thick oil in and there's an issue, then you can create too much pressure and cause new, more damage, so it's better to put a flushing oil through. So now if we have to go away and buy a new one of these, we might as well get some flushing oil. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Well, we're done under the car for now, then, we're done we? all, Yeah, that's what so we can do down here for today. I think I'd like to have a go at a little bit of wire fixing to be able to get the battery Just in. Let this thing drip dry then. Yeah, I'll leave that. Right, there we go. We'll leave it to it. Sub plug. Very rounded. Man came, got it out within seconds. New one does not fit. I mean, we could have put money on that really, couldn't we? But you can see that it's a bit thinner. So we'll leave that to drain. That's the best way. That doesn't matter for now. The other job that I wanted to do today was to fix some of the wiring that goes to the battery. Um, so I've got some tools with me to give it a go. So we might as well try that now, I think. Do you agree, George? Yep, sounds like uh, a plan. I'll go get myself. Here we have the new battery that's going to go into the car. Um, and as we showed before, it doesn't have the same connectors as the previous battery. Um, so I've bought these fun little gizmos, which obviously fit onto that. And then all the cables go onto these bolts. So I had to buy this very specifically, the six millimeter little bolts on there because uh, these have six millimeter holes. So this was another thing that was a little bit tricky to find because again, there's lots of different sizes. Um, so fine, that's easy, clip it on, put those through the hole, but I saw that this one Y here is not looking very happy. So I think this is a good chance for me to have a go at doing some wiring bits. I'm going to clip it back and put on a new connector, which I bought. Um, hopefully this will be straightforward. I think my biggest worry about this is ch chopping it back will make it shorter. So hopefully it will still reach the battery after I've mangled it a bit, but there's only one way to find out. I'm just literally going to chop it as close to this and a bit where I think all the wire is. That just fell apart. <laughs> there we go, now go back. Ah. So what experience do you have with electrical work? Oh, well, where shall I begin? Um, none. <laughs> <laughs> playing around with these when I was a kid with like little bits of excess wire in the garage. <laughs> it's probably the same ones that I played with when I was a kid. You know, I, I bought my first flat and I put a new um, new light switch in into the front room. Yeah. So there were two lights, two pendant lights and a switch for each. By the time I'd finished, we had to run a cable through the loft to connect them up and put them on a single switch because I'd done something really wrong. <laughs> No. And even the electrician <laughs> couldn't figure out what I'd done wrong, so we just ran a new cable in the loft. Even the electrician couldn't figure out what yeah. you'd done. I don't do electrics anymore. This is why reason. I'm. <laughs> this is why I'm doing the electrics. This is why I volunteered you for this task. Look at that.
This is very fiddly and I feel like maybe I want to take my gloves off for this. Do you think we're going to have any enthusiasm for this car by the end of the process? I don't have any enthusiasm for it now. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have lots of enthusiasm for it. <laughs> there we go. But that's not right either. It feels like it's too big for for this. Right, let's try that. I made it into a circle. In. It's probably not how it's meant to be, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. Just like the experts would do. Whether it's going to reach, I mean, it probably will actually. Yeah, it feels pretty solid. I'm going to connect all these uh, wire terminals onto the battery clips, and then we're going to put the battery in and see if we have any power. I'm just winging this. one big one that's kind of getting right in the way of the other ones. Is there a, an optimum terminal for it to be attached to? No. So if if I've got it here, it can't go on that because it gets in the way of that one. It'll be the same there and then it just doesn't fit on an end one. It's just too big for any of those. So then I'm just going to have to stack it with two others. Okay. I do need a, an Allen key or something for this. I'm not blessed for Allen keys here. No. This it's got some pliers. I could do it with pliers. Is it a nut? No. Try these. Too big? No, that might be right. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. Thank you very much. Look at that first time. Okay, we've got this issue under control. Um, so far, so good. Where does that cable want to go? Want to sit? Yeah. Flat like that. Yeah. Well. You know your um, yeah, my long my, yeah we've got the long thing but I can't oh I can see it if you get the long thing it's it's literally there on the edge of the pipes. What you want this? Yeah. I just want the magnet. Well I don't know if that that thing's magnetic. It's metal. Not all metal is magnetic. All metal. <laughs> Sorry. All metal. <laughs> Oh my god. It's on the floor. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. Good job we literally got this yesterday. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> immediately throw it on the floor again. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> that is actually very useful. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly Google that that is okay. So you connect positive, then negative. Okay. Do you want this battery? What's the worst that could happen right now? You ready to fucking die? <laughs> <laughs> If I stand back far enough, I'll be able to run for help, yeah? Uh. Take that bar out first. Ah, <sighs> oh, God. Right, red first, yeah? Yeah. I don't feel happy about doing this at all. So I'm going to call Dad. So we're at the stage where we, well, we think we're at the stage that we just need to connect it to a battery and see if power flows through. Um, all right, so basically with the ignition off, which you yeah. have. Yeah. Um, so if you connect the black terminal first. So is that the opposite of what? The it said negative. online it says positive first. Is it positive first, is it? Positive first and then negative. No, is it, is it positive earth or is it negative earth? I have no idea. What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, which, which, right, one of the leads. One of those two leads should be connected to the metalwork of the car that you've, you've got, the black one or the red one. And I'd have thought the black one. Black one. Black one. Connected to the car, car. chassis. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's literally just bolted in right here. Yep. Right, so you connect that one first because it is negative earth, so it's not positive earth. Shit, so we would have done it the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, so you connect the black one first. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to take that extra bolt off first. This is the second time today that I'm going to use this tool. <laughs> oh, is, that lucky? is that lucky you actually have one of those in your toolbox? In fact, I might need the magnet one, George. I think I need the magnet one. <laughs> lucky we've got that as well, isn't it? <laughs> in fact, I've just lost sight of it. I dropped, I took away an excess, an excess bolt. In there fact, you go. Get... Uh. Thank you. <laughs> right, okay, so connect to the black one. Right. Is it too tight? It's just awkward, oh, there we go. It's just awkward. Right, there we go, right, I've got the black one on. So have you got a fire extinguisher or... Um, is this a real risk that I am taking right now, Dad? What's, what's going to set light? Yeah, what's going to set light? Well, I don't know. Like, anyway, well, there's nothing combustible there, is there? Only, only the wiring somewhere. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I have set fire to one of these cars before. George just said, well, I have set fire to one of these cars before, and I just feel like we need to have a second to just go, what the fuck are you talking about? I set, I set fire to a Mark IV Escort previously. <laughs> just, and do you know what type of fire it was? He said, I set fire to a Mark IV Escort previously. And then he said, do you know what kind of fire it was? And I'm going to say, was it an electrical, electrical fire? fire? And yes, he is nodding <laughs> away. Yes. So this is why he's making me do this bit. <laughs> Great. Yeah. What, what, what happened when it was on fire? How did you get it out? I had to stamp it out. It was in the boot. It was, of all places, it was in the boot. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> I, I, connect, I connected a fuse and fire happened. Tell me what you're doing. You're actually going to connect that to the red terminal now. Yes, yes. 
Right. Well, connect it to the, but then make sure that that doesn't touch the metalwork because it's got that lever on, hasn't it? Oh God. And what would happen if the what would happen if it touched the metalwork? Then you would get a very big spark. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> Right, well luckily this is not reaching the battery, <laughs> so it's not even a concern right now. <clears throat> Shitting myself. All right, I'm def definitely going to have to... Oh! <laughs> oh God. This is, I'm laughing because I would be exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Right, I've just touched it and there's no... Right, no spark. <sighs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it on the thing. You might try and do it a little bit. I have undone it all the way. <laughs> oh. oh, hang on, it was a slightly bigger terminal for positive, isn't it? <sighs> like it should fit on, but it's only very slightly not fitting on. Bargeration. <sighs> Only slightly out, but that is also something that looks right. like it could be stretched. I need like a pair of pliers or something to stretch it out. Okay. In theory, in theory you should... In theory, no, that's not done anything. Yeah. Where you should get a screwdriver in there and, and just lever it apart or a crowbar or anything else that you've got. So, so undo that screw completely and then you should be able to get a screwdriver in between and you should be able to just lever it apart. Okay. I wouldn't lever it while it's on the terminal because you're likely to damage the battery. Well, it's just pinging back otherwise. It's the only way I'm... It's, it pings back otherwise. I, that's the only way I can keep it open. Like, I get it in there well, and then... Get, well, then can you get something bigger that make it just go apart a bit wider so you can slide it over the terminal? Yeah, but it's not, still not wide enough, so you need a, a wider thing, don't you, to stretch it apart? Yes. But I don't, again, I don't know how this is going. <laughs> this is like next level now. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what do I do with this? <laughs> I feel like the pliers were the best option. All right, that definitely moved. There's definitely movement there. So Still not the way. Yeah. <sighs> it's going on more and more, isn't it? Where it is. Going? Yeah, have a little go. Where are you forcing it from? From, it, in from there. the like, cusp of the edge of it. <sighs> Try that. It's getting there, but a little bit more. It, it? It's like millimetre by millimetre, but it's getting there. Oh, God. That did it, I think. All right. Okay. All right, I feel secure. So in theory, there shouldn't be any smoke, there shouldn't be anything going on. Right now, uh, that doesn't seem to be. Would it, would it happen, would it have happened already? Yeah, yeah, electricity is quite fast at doing things. So, okay. Right, so. Seems all right. I'll check the boot since that's George's unlucky area. <laughs> Seems all right. Is it connected? Yeah, and there doesn't yeah. seem to be any smoke yet, so that's good. Has it burst into flames yet? Right. So, so the next trip. Yeah. I guess you're going to switch the ignition on. See I, what happens. I guess so. Where's the key? In my pocket. Battery's connected. So now I've got the keys and we're going to see if there is any life when we turn the key. Not all the way on, but a little bit on, if there's anything on the dash. So yeah, let's go for it. The 
with nothing. Oh, oh. Let's have a look. I don't know, but the, yeah, yeah we've got some light. Oh, I've got one on the other side as well. <laughs> He lived! <laughs> okay, well that's a good thing. Let's have a look, we've got lights on the front. Yeah, lights on the front. Okay. Um, lights. One side, yeah. One side. So lights are on. Yeah, we've got one, we've got, yeah, we've got a light on one side at the back as well. In fact, while they're on, just see if the uh, the main beam is flashing. Nothing. No. Indicators? Nope. No. Okay. So no indicators, even though the hazards went on. Just oh, no. just you going. Got no, there's no light on the dash. Radio switches on or has power. Yeah, there's no light on the back dash. Let's try. Should we try window? Yeah, go on. No. It's not. This has power. There's a clock up in the middle. Interior light? No interior light. But the clock's but, but a clock, well, there's power in the clock, but I can't see any deep, like it's very no, broken. Display. Um. Oh. That's the aerial coming up, or trying to come up. Yeah, you're trying to operate the aerial? No. Should be the roof. That's the hydraulics. It's not the... Yeah, stop it then. <sighs> hmm, so it makes sound, but it won't, but the roof won't go. Maybe it's because that's on it, to be fair. It could be because that was there. Could be. Also, it might be that you're meant to disconnect it inside, it's not automatic. You have to pull these handles down, don't you? I have no idea, I've never... It's not like your flash BMW, you know. <laughs> there you go. That one's off. See the handle? And there's a little button inside it. it. Feel a little button? Get hold of the handle. That's it. Right, now you've disconnected the roof. Right. So okay. now if we try it, get the boot off of it. Yep. Doesn't sound happy, does it? No, it's not doing it, is it? So now it's so the next thing you need to do is, is you've actually got to start tracing the where the electricity goes, the fuses. Yeah. So okay, following the power. Blanket or a duvet, maybe. 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 Uh, once, once you don't I don't think it's done. Don't know, We've got radio. What is being reviewed today? Reviews of the viral overnight heat. There we go. Radio works. <laughs> The joys. This mirror. We've got power to it, it's working. And this one over here. You won't see it, but you'll hear it. Yeah, that one's working over there. The clock has power, but no life, no time. And the interior light. Probably full of water to be honest, so that is not working. But the radio is working. No heater, no life on the dashboard, no lights or anything. The hazards do work. But only one side of the dash is working, we've not got both the arrows. Weird. 
We've got the battery hooked up and a few bits and pieces indicating that there's power, such as the lights. Um, so we need to figure out why other bits, like parts of the dash, um, the windows, etc., aren't getting power. So the first obvious thought is the fuses. So I'm going to have a look at the fuses, um, see if there's any that look like they've got problems, and I'm, I think I'm just going to take them all out and test them to check that they are working. Um, it's just an easy first bit, otherwise I think we're going to have to start following wires and looking at things. I'm just going to go methodically from bottom to top so it looks good. Yep, that's good. So there shouldn't be a reading. So it should go to zero because there's no resistance. So that it should just have power going through it. So zero. So it's do we zero do we know what these fuses are for? What well, no, I, can look, I don't know, but this is going to cover a lot of them. So I'm sure that every fuse I can find, I'm just going to check, and then if we find the one that's not working, then we can look up what it does. What's well, giving you a resistance, reading? This one I might have an issue. No, it's just worth holding it. That's fine. It's good to see these are fine, but at the same time, it would be nice to find ones that blown so that we know that there's an easy answer. Oh, that would be a lovely easy answer, yeah. Just a couple of fuses and that's it. They are all absolutely fine. All of the fuses are looking good, um, which is kind of unfortunate because that would have been a really easy fix for some of the electrical problems if it was just switching a fuse out. But never mind, that just means that we're going to have to look a bit deeper into electrics, follow some of the wiring, I guess, to try and find out why certain things aren't working. But I think that's going to be another day job. So we've had a positive day today, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a few bits and pieces done. Had some outside help, which was very much needed. I think we would have spent forever working on that uh, sump plug. But yeah, very positive day. Yeah, we're pushing forward. And if you want to watch more of our journey, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time. You made the sound you make when you lift weights. It's big <laughs> when I do a poo. <laughs> Okay. I just want to turn this ignition back on. Right, so radio works. No, because no, we've not got the back battery. Oh, the battery's disconnected, isn't it? Of course, yeah. Okay, we're not going to do that then. <laughs>